Okay, I figured I would make a video before I get too carried away with myself. As you can see, the side cover's off. I was originally going to do this on video, but there was somebody else in the garage. I couldn't really get a video. But, engine turns. Engine has compression. I uh, took the valve cover off. Both valves are moving. And it did actually spit out some oil, so I had it cranking over with the drill. Speaking of the drill, right here, let me take the spark plug back out so it's not the compression's not fighting me. There we go. I have just a regular DeWalt drill on here. As you can see, back sprocket is moving. I also had the shifter in place. It will upshift and it will downshift. The sprocket got faster when I upshifted and got slower when I downshifted. So that's all working. Unfortunately, there was only two bolts holding this side cover on. So I'm gonna see if those bolts are available, but I don't wanna to get too far ahead of myself. I need to order a kickstart. I will be ordering that tonight. So I think we might have a runner here. Also, we do have spark. Let me set up and I'll show you. Okay, I'm all set up. Hopefully you'll be able to see the spark. It is sparking. So one issue I did find the carburetor or carburetor, like Tara likes to call it, is missing its air filter. That could be a good thing or that could be a bad thing because this wire right here coming off the coil was also disconnected. If you remember, it was hanging down in this area right here, but its connector is just right there. So I'm not missing anything on the electronic side as far as I can tell. So if they ran it without an air filter, which is the absolute worst thing you can do, the engine will be screwed. But it does have compression, it does have oil, and it does have spark. So I might put a little bit of go juice in it, push it outside and see what happens, and proceed from there. It's going to be smoky, it's going to be loud when it first fires up, but we'll go from there. So I'm going to put this valve cover back on so we don't lose any more oil out the top so i believe these have a small oil pump in them to pump oil up to the valve so that means the oil pump is working if it does have an oil pump so on the engine aspect everything is working the shifter is working so we just got to make sure it will run and see how it does run also the carburetor or carburetor is very loose so it makes me think possibly they put we're putting one on and this appears to be the wrong one since the fuel line hookup is actually on the other side and not on this side. So at least I can't see it on this side unless it's, something's been broken off. I'll have to check the other carburetor that's in the box and see how it fits on here. So somebody was in here doing work and either they gave up on it for some sort of reason or something happened and they had to give up on it. I don't know yet. Like I said, cheap bike. We're going to see what we can get out of it. I'll talk to him later. Please keep it redneck like always, and uh, please subscribe and comment.